Yes, indeed, everybody. Welcome to the 2017 Shift Awards from Roadshow by CNET. Welcome, everybody. This is our second annual Shift Awards. Last year was the first time when we launched the site. And now we're going to be giving away uh, and recognizing the greatest progressive technologies and mm -hmm. people in the industry. My name is Tim Stevens. I'm editor-in-chief of Roadshow. I'm Brian Cooley, editor-at-large at Roadshow, and we're about to go through a series of uh, very compact categories. We've whittled it down to the absolute essence of what's bubbling up in the industry in the last year. Uh, we have uh, four categories and one award for Disruptor of the Year. Right. What is Disruptor? Real briefly, Tim. Disruptor is the individual or team of individuals who made the biggest impact on the automotive industry this year. Last year, we gave it away to the team at West Virginia mm -hmm. University yeah. who basically discovered Dieselgate and kicked that whole thing off. This year, a different individual. We'll have to wait a little bit mm -hmm. to see who that is. All right, let's get started then with the first of our categories, which as you can see on the screen there are driveline technology, safety technology, Cabin Tech, our Disruptor Award that we mentioned, and of course we'll finish up with our Vehicle of the Year from the Roadshow team. So let's get started with our nominees in our first category, which is Driveline Technology. And the nominees in there, there are three, and they include BMW's Proactive Driving Assistant, Chrysler Pacifica's Plug-In Hybrid Technology, as well as the Chevy Bolt EV Powertrain. And the winner in driveline technology. A lot of great technology there this year. It certainly is. Chevy Bolt TV. Chevy Bolt TV. I believe we have uh, Mark Royce. Mark Royce is here. Thank you Come so on up, Mark much, Royce, John. President of General thank Motors. You, thank you very much. Here's your trophy, sir. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. And, you know, uh, this is really really special too. This award is beautiful. So I was told it was 3D printed and it actually shifts, but uh, we don't need those shifters in a bolt, I don't think. Absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're very proud. We think Thank these you. are the best drovers in the industry. We're also uh, we're big fans of the bolt. So tell us about Thank the you. bolt and the, the, the rollout. It's very limited right now, but how soon can people actually get these uh, nationwide? Oh, we're making them as fast as we can. Right here in Orion, right uh, a few miles up the road in an I-75. So we've got a great assembly team there. Um, the team that did this, you know, this was really a, a moonshot for us. And uh, we shipped uh, and turned our valve on from a quality standpoint. It was, you know, pretty much the Eagle has landed. We didn't know exactly how much range we could get out of this propulsion system or the battery system itself. So we partnered with um, LG uh, and we own our own battery chemistry and our own power control systems. And uh, we really, I'm just so proud of the team. They, they did a wonderful job. So uh, Pam Fletcher and, and Josh Tavel and the team, uh, just, just I'm, I'm so happy for them. So this means a lot to them. Thank you. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the Thank award. You. And again, we're big fans of the Bolt, and we're looking forward to seeing you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for having us. Congratulations, Thanks, Mark. And uh, Mark being one of the great, you know, real car guys in the industry, he's going to wear out that shifter. I just know it. He's going <laughs> to sit on his desk and he's going to go through the gears. Nice gate. Okay, uh, let's move on to our next category here, Tim. And now we're going to get into safety technology, which is another area that bubbles up in a lot of different directions, from autonomy to driver aids and driver assist. The nominees this year for the 2017 Shift Award include Audi's laser headlight technology, We've also got another Audi entrant here that made the cut, and that is Audi's traffic light information system, relaying the status of traffic lights in an information basis on the dashboard of your car just coming out. And Cadillac's full display rear view mirror in partnership with Gentex on that part. So we've got some technologies that give you more information about what's going on in the road, and some technologies that let you see more about what's going on yeah. in the road. Yeah, a lot of visual going on there, isn't it? Absolutely. And the winner in the safety technology category is it's Audi's traffic light information system. Congratulations, to Audi. We've got Mark Danke for Audi of America. Come on up, Mark, and uh, accept your pretty awesome six-speed shifter. Mark, Beautiful. thanks very much. Thank you so much. So uh, tell us a little bit about the system. How is this like uh, basically a, a precursor of some of the, the great B2B stuff we expect in the future? I think it's a, we see it as a first step, and it is a pretty important one. It's kind of interesting when you see uh, customers and frankly journalists getting behind the wheel you tell them about the technology and they think okay that's neat but then when you actually experience it you look you sit and you see what information is in front of you that your lights turning green in 90 seconds you take your hands off the wheel you relax you know what how much time you have remaining you can maybe hand something to the your child in the back seat or maybe you take a little time to input some navigation data it really does change the way you drive in the future it will be literally that you'll be able to link up cars to each other, you'll be able to link up with the infrastructure, get more information. Will you make that next light if you drive 25 miles per hour? 
it obviously won't tell you if you need to accelerate <laughs> to make it, um, but it does actually tell you today that the light ahead that you see is green is red on your dash because you're going to wait 90 seconds, you're not going to make it in time. So it generally changes the way you drive, gives drivers more information, and it's something that the Audi brand stands for that we continue to push forward on a lot of the technologies. And that could also help to boost the economy as well because you won't be accelerating to the light because you'll know, I'm not going to make it anyway. I might you well genuinely do. You see that you're not going to make it, you take your foot off the accelerator, that's one. The second is it'll be linked in with start-stop and it will get linked in with your navigation data. So if this light takes three minutes to turn green, the system knows that you can turn right here and then a left and you'll be further along and faster on your way. That's great. Well, congratulations on the award. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. We'll stop Appreciate and get it. a picture here before you go. Hey, congratulations for Audi, please. And this is an early slice of V to I implementation on the road where the great. vehicle Thank and you the much. infrastructure will go back and forth and, and confer, if you will, so that the vehicle and the road actually live together with some foreknowledge as opposed to it being as random and unknowable as it is right now. Right, and, and hopefully you know, down the road, five, 10 years, we'll have all cars talking to each other and talking to all the traffic lights out there and the DOT and every plow that's on the road. So you'll know exactly what's been solved. And bicycles and, wind, and pedestrians. Everything else, and every dog and every yeah. running deer. Put a little badger <laughs> and every deer out there too, so when it jumps out, you'll know. So uh, kudos to Audi for really getting out early on a real credible and real tangible early uh, initiative on V to I technology. Let's go to our uh, next category now, which is cabin technology. Uh, one that is often some of the most fun to get your hands on, a lot of very, uh, very, very gettable, very seeable, very play withable type stuff. Uh, our nominees in this category include Chrysler's Uconnect Theater, uh, second row theater system in the Pacifica. Uh, this one's really got a lot of great benefits for kids. There's a map that they don't have to ask, are we there yet? They can see if we're there yet. Uh, we also gave a nod to Ford's Sync 3 system, a uh, very impressive uh, final, uh, latest iteration of the Ford Sync platform, and also to a derivation of Android Auto, one that can run on a phone solely without having to have integration with a dash for cars that don't have a retrofit or a factory fit pattern. And that's our cabin technology nominees, and the winner in that one, Chrysler Uconnect. Chrysler Uconnect in the Pacifica. Congratulations. And the Bruce Vessel is here from Chrysler. Come on up. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Take your six feet. Thank you. So this is uh, one of the really interesting applications of technology in a minivan. One of the first ones we saw that really took advantage of the minivan platform and really gave kids in the backseat a little bit more control, a little bit more insight. What was kind of the thinking behind you know creating this navigation system for kids, basically? Obviously, well, uh, you know, obviously the rear seat entertainment for kids is important, keeping them engaged. It's not only an entertainment tool, but it's also educational. With the embedded apps and games for the kids, there's math flashcards. There's a lot of things for them to engage with. Um, but it can also be used for adults. I mean, we see a lot of real estate agents, you know, putting uh, homes and, and videos that they've taken with their clients throughout the day using the rear seat entertainment for that as well. So, uh, you know, it's an outstanding system. We think it's the best in the industry. Uh, so we're really excited and thank you for this. And we've seen the portal concept as well, showing a little bit more further forward-looking idea of, of a minivan. Is a minivan kind of like the, the closest thing to an autonomous platform we have right now, the living room on wheel ideal? Well, it really kind of, we see that as a, the third space between mm -hmm. home and work. And we spend a lot of time in our vehicles and you know, creating an environment that's fun and, and uh, comfortable for, for people while they're traveling, uh, we think is an important and a, a trend for the future. Great, well, congratulations so, on the award. Thank you. Congratulations to Chrysler on that. And to finally see someone crack the code on moving second row entertainment beyond just media playback. Absolutely. It's something really rich and interesting. Yeah, and, and you know, solving a bit of a pain point for parents, which is, are we there yet? Yeah. Get rid of that question altogether. I think that right there sold a lot of minivans. And I was intrigued by his comment about the uh, real estate industry as a vertical that's finding another way yeah, to use this uh, platform that can really be something interactive for second row passengers, clients in that case. I guess sometimes your, your child feels like a client as well. <laughs> uh, before we get to our vehicle of the year, we're going to go to our, our interesting award here that has no nominees, but is one person that we picked, Tim, uh, as you mentioned, from the array of automotive executives out there. Right, there are a lot of people out there who are doing a lot of really fascinating things in the industry, but ultimately there was somebody who stood out to us who really has helped to push the industry forward in a very different way and ultimately move us all forward, move us closer to the future that I think a lot of us are pretty eager to get to. And that person is John Krafchick of Waymo, the John Google Home uh, self-driving division. Right. 
So uh, Waymo is uh, basically the former self-driving car project that Google now spun off to be its own entity as part of Alphabet, which is the larger parent company of Google. Uh, John Kraftchuk, unfortunately, was not able to be with us today, but we were able to uh, meet with him yesterday, very briefly, after he gave uh, some presentations on their aut aut autonomous um, driving car. Chris Pauker, the uh, managing editor here, was able to give him his trophy, uh, which he was very happy to receive. So John did a lot of work this year helping to move the industry forward on the autonomous front. Google has been very, very progressive in terms of developing their autonomous cars, and John Kraftchuk in particular has been really, really aggressive in working with the DOT, working with people like Secretary Fox mm. to help standardize regulations for autonomous cars here in the U.S. and ultimately move the whole industry forward. And that's why we recognize uh, John Kraftchuk as our disruptor of the year. And one of the announcements they also made uh, here during uh, show press days was how uh, their unit there of Alphabet Waymo is going to work very hard on getting the sensor package, which is seventy-five or eighty thousand dollars nominally today for a highly autonomous car, down to one tenth that cost. They're going to work on that engineering problem as opposed to necessarily making uh, cars that have that, but to make that package that can distribute across the industry. Suddenly you can hide the cost of autonomy in at least a mid-size to mid-premium car, right. which moves the ball forward very quickly. Cost is showing you how close we are getting to real market rollout once you start to work on pricing and packaging. Yeah, there are very few cars out there that you could hide $75,000 yes, in and nobody right. would notice. But when you get it down into the five grand range, we're getting a little Then closer. you can work that into the mm -hmm. MSRP somewhere. So congratulations to Waymo and uh, their head there, John Kraftchuk. This brings us to our final category in the 2017 Shift Awards, of course, the one that everyone looks for, and that is our Vehicle of the Year. Here are our three nominees for the most important vehicle of, 27, of 2016 in the uh, Shift Awards, and they include BMW's M2. Which is a great sports car, one of our favorite driving cars. We got a a range of products Tremendous. here. I want to talk about each one a little bit individually as we go through. Yeah. The M2 is a phenomenal driving car, one of the ones that we really, really enjoyed uh, spending a lot of time. And we did a big shoot a little while ago in which we uh, spent a lot of time on a lot of sports cars, and the M2 is one of the standouts for sure. Very much what the M3 was in its early days, kind of recapturing some of the lean, very, uh, very sharp tool essence. Right, absolutely. And, and downsizing a little bit from the M3, just a raw, fun, simple car. Not a lot of dials to deal with configurations, adaptive suspension to fill with. Just a great driver's car. And there's almost no angle where it doesn't look good. It, it's pretty aggressive. Whether it's in a drift or not. Absolutely. <laughs> and I, I did have some fun drifting one, I must say. Yeah, I think you did. Okay, <laughs> our second nominee in this category of three is a name that we've seen before earlier in the show, Bolt EV. Right, this is the Chevy Bolt EV, which has already won our powertrain award of the year. Uh, really great EV, bringing the cost down, uh, we're talking about around a $30,000 entry point for a car that will do well over 200 miles on a charge. I was lucky enough to do an early drive in this, driving down yeah. the California coast, which is a nice thing to do anyway, uh, but doing it uh, without burning any gasoline at all. I, I made it, I think, 224 miles on a charge, and there was still at least 15 miles left on the thing. So that was really impressive. Just Very driving, impressive. driving normally in a, in a car that looks like a normal car. It doesn't look like some freak on wheels. No, great looking uh, car, great season. cabin tech, which often doesn't get mentioned as much as its electric role. Right. And to have all those, all those bases covered off uh, at the same time, it just shows a multi-headed message is so important in this industry because these are real products for real mainstream millions of buyers. And our third nominee in this category of three is the Chrysler Pacifica minivan. Right, this is the, the minivan that made us think, hey, maybe minivans aren't dead after mm -hmm. all. You know, that segment's been declining, but ultimately when the Pacifica came out, I think everyone in the industry was like, uh, nobody, nobody cares. But when then we saw it, like, wow, this actually looks really yeah. nice. And then we learned about the technology, and as we were talking about earlier, the rear seat infotainment system for kids, and a lot of the other innovations that this brought to market. And that was all really cool. And then the plug-in hybrid technology as well, which just makes it up first, a level. Yeah, first in class. Absolutely. Absolutely. I remember I found myself shocked when I was at the unveil of that at the uh, auto show earlier last year, and I found myself on camera actually saying the phrase, sexy minivan. <laughs> and, I, and I meant it because it looked so good. Yeah, and its technology was so, was so right on. It really got a lot of things going. So those are our three nominees in the category for Vehicle of the Year. Of course, only one can win. Absolutely. We've only got one trophy left. That's right. And that winner for the 2017 Shift Award is the Chevy Bolt. It's the Chevy Bolt. EV. Congratulations to Chevy and General Motors. Royce, President of GM again. Welcome back, Mark. Thank you very much. Let's smile for the camera Thank here a little absolutely. bit before we start. Yeah, no, it's easy to smile. <laughs> so thanks, you guys. They're a great competition as well. You know, Chrysler uh, in their van is, is spectacular, and the, the M is, is, is really a nice car, too. So we're really proud, again, to have it. And, uh, Appreciate your comments on it's not some sort of a freak on wheels. That's a, a good, uh, <laughs> I mean no, that the kindest not. way possible. Yeah, no, I know. I get it. I get it. No, it was designed uh, by, by some great people in our company that um, really wanted a very clean, attractive car um, that everybody can access and, and get that kind of uh, one purpose 
uh, range, you know, which is you, you drove the car and your, your mileage estimates are of what you got are, are real. And so uh, I think there's more to do there um, and we're, we're going to work on it. But uh, the team that did this, uh, we didn't have all those things known when we started it. And that's mm -hmm. the kind of stuff that, you know, our company is going to be known for. So we're going to take some chances and risks and uh, we're going to see the big payoffs too. So I really appreciate the, uh, the award for our team. Congratulations. Thank you Good very work. much. Appreciate it. Another hand Thank for you. the Thank Chevrolet you. Division and the Bolt TV, our vehicle of the year for the Roadshow Shift Awards. Uh, also a great American innovation story. I mean, there's Absolutely. just some great thinking uh, coming out of the Chevy division and General Motors and, uh, and this city in particular that brought together a car that is so smart on so many fronts. And there are so many interesting EVs that we see at auto shows we go to and a lot of talk about yeah. high horsepower, high performance, huge range, but very few of them actually ever come to market and certainly none of them are going to come to market, at least in the near future, at the kind of volume that we're talking about with the Chevy Bolt. This is going to be a car yeah. that you'll be able to go into any dealership in the U.S. eventually and buy, and that's, that is, is really encouraging to see Real that we volume, are at that point. Great pricing, yep. and a balanced array of attributes made the Bolt such a winner. So that concludes the uh, 2016 Shift Awards here from Roadshow. Uh, our winners, uh, please stay around for a group photo here at the end. We want to thank you all for being with us and uh, continuing coverage here at the stage. We're going to take a very short break here to get some photos and turn the stage over. And then we've got a second full day of live coverage with more press conferences coming up and live interviews with a number of industry executives with our own unique view of how this industry is moving forward, as well as hands-on video of many of the newest cars and more booth tours with our Roadshow team coming in here, beamed into the stage and going into our live stream. We have a lot going on here on day two of the press days here at the North American International Auto Show. Don't go away. We'll see you back here in just a moment.